Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Alpha Number Thing on YC, and today we have a special guest for part two of Car Conversations and Confessions. And <laughs> we're gonna let you, <laughs> we're gonna let you introduce yourself. Tell what's people up, who you yeah. are. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Milk the Mermaid. But you already knew that I'm here <laughs> for Car Conversations. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to see like what to expect. This is my first um, car podcast. Mm-hmm. So I'm interested. I'm ready to get into it. You know, we always got to bring new segments, bring it to you a different way other than the regular. So let's get into it then. I'm ready to get into it today. Alright. So let the people know where you're from, nationality, your age, because you know you look premature. So you got to like tell the people who you are. Premature is you crazy. You got to let the people know who you are. So. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brownsville. I'm 28 years old. I know everybody thinks like I'm like 20, 21, yeah. 18. Sometimes they be dragging me with it. But no, I'm 28. Grown woman teens. <laughs> grown woman teens. Oh, I feel you. So it's 2024. Oh, no, yeah. So how's the year treating you so far? Um, I'm not even gonna lie. I like to be honest with myself. So I feel like I'm doing stuff, but I'm slacking a little bit. Like, last year, I was, like, bro, right now, I'm building back up. You know, it's starting to get back nice outside, so it's picking up. It's picking, it's picking up. So, up. What, what do you do exactly? Because I know you dibble and dabble a little bit of everything. Like, what do you what do? You do? What do you consider yourself? Um, I'm definitely an entre- entrepreneur. I'm trying to take over the world. Oh, the so world? Like, um, I model. I'm a stylist. I'm a hair colorist. I have my own podcast called Mermaid Talk. Sometimes I rap if I feel like it. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you, you nice like that? Or you... Um, I'm the type to like hear the music and like sit and write like um a oh, whole bunch of it. paper balls you until you, until it comes out until it comes, but it, it comes. Rolling deep with a whole bunch of angels. Yeah, we got halos, but trust me, gon' flame you. Do what I want, cause I'm willing and able. Still trying to see what you bring to the table. Niggas telling me stories like fables. Sleeping on me, tell me switch the day call. Yeah, I'ma win if you doubt you a damn fool. There you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, nah, I hear that though. So, then, so, since you do so much, what what do you? What's your definition of success? You had um, to define success. What's your definition? Success is to me is just accomplishing everything that you set out to do, mm-hmm. like. If you if you giving it your all, you're successful. Like that's how I feel. That's how you Everybody's do. success is different. Like it doesn't matter. So what if I what if my goal was to set out and be an Amazon worker? And I and become you a, did that, uh, you're successful. Really? You succeeded. Really? Yeah. It doesn't matter high level, low level? No. That's okay. your level. My level might might not be your level. Okay, so what what do you what do you consider going too far when it comes to setting out dreams? Because you know, a lot of women go on alternative routes. A lot of men doing behind the table things. Like, what do you consider going too far, doing too much for, um, for money? For money. I don't knock like nobody's hustle, right? But like I always say, I can curse on you. You can do whatever you want. All right, fuck shit. Nah, <laughs> do whatever you want. Um, what yeah, I, I shit, what I shit don't make you like. What I eat don't make you shit. I always say that. So it's like. Mm. If you willing to do the extra mile to get bread in your pocket, that's you. That's just that's that's your limit. That's not mine. So like I would never be personally have sex with my So legally, illegally, like it doesn't matter. I would never give my body to somebody for money. Like that I that I wasn't in a relationship with, let me clear that up. Yeah, that's that's completely different. Because it's like my man or my woman is gonna be paying for shit regardless. I was just about to say that. Yeah. But it, that's but, not like an exchange. You can't hit me up and be like, yo, how much the fuck? Mm-hmm. Nah. I've nah, gotten that in the DMs before, but... I, I could have... Oh, really? What, what, what else you be getting in the DMs? Like, what, 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 what the DMs be looking like? They be wilding in the DMs sometimes. What, what? Unwanted pictures. Um, Definitely low-level riz. <laughs> um, low level. Like, you think that you you give me riz and you really not. Or, like, I've had people hit me up to ask me, I don't know how much to link up. Like, and I'll be like, link up and do what? Mm, what they say? like, to, some people just try to, like, pay me to spend time with them. Some people trying to fuck. They pay you to spend time? Like, oh. Yeah, there's people out there like that. Like, just, Really? Hey, uh, how, how much? How much? How much money for how much time? I, mean, this is, I never this get that deep in the conversation because I just cut it off from the get go. And these are old men, or like? Sometimes they'll come with like fake pages. You know those pages that don't have no profile picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just random. Like that. I've even gotten DMs with people asking me to 
like talk crazy to them to degrade them. Some people get off on that. Some people get off on that. I'm not listen. <laughs> I probably had it all. And you never, you never accepted it. That's just not your thing. Yeah, I feel, I feel you have it. So you got some type of more because some some other women they would hear that never straightforward. I don't know. It's just not for me, you know. Like degrading somebody just to like get bread. I, don't know, I can't stick with it. I be too nice sometimes. No, I, I hear you on that. So, do you do you consider yourself a su- successful at this young age? Yeah, I'm not where I want to be mm-hmm. all the way, but I consider myself successful. And why, why do you say that? Um. Anything that I put my mind to, I make sure I do it. Even if I get obstacles in the way, I make sure like I keep at it. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, that's good. Resilience. If I gotta take a little rest, like I'm gonna get back at it. That is important because some people they try, it don't work, and they just give up. Mm-hmm. Now that, that that you do have a point with that. And did you? You seem pretty motivated. Did, did you grow up with your? Who'd you grow up with? Siblings, mother, father. Um, who grew up with? <clears throat> I grew up with my mom and my dad. In the same household, but then like my dad left, but my dad is like always in my life. So Mm -hmm. I really grew up with my mother, but my dad always like came around. So you could kind of say I grew up with both parents. I have siblings on my mom's side and my dad's side, but I'm my mom and my dad's only child. So in the household, it was your mother, father, and you. Uh, I had an older brother on my mom's side. Okay. Where like the age gap is very very big, so he moved out the house a long time ago. So uh, yeah, he's basically like yeah (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. he's grown already. Y'all didn't grow up together. No, not like that. Nah. Uh-huh. And do you, do you die? This, this is a good one. Do you think growing up with a male figure is beneficial for you in your the present day? Like growing up with a father helped you is is making it beneficial for you the present? Um, definitely. I feel like anybody growing up with a dad shows you like, you know, if you have a good dad, somebody that would treat his daughter like properly. Like, open up the door, teach you certain stuff like that, like, mm-hmm. many years of that man is supposed to have, or mm-hmm. should have, so it kind of taught me that, um, my dad was always the type too, to like, I could talk to him about anything, so it was, it was cool, but yeah, you just open book, yeah, anything that's on your mind, my dad was not, it's not judgy, I like people like that, yeah, it helps you learn, it helps you learn the truth, I can tell you that, me and my dad got the same birthday, like, we're both Gemini, really, mm-hmm. I was born on his birthday, so me same dad, exact birthday, so y'all automatically gonna be close to yeah, him. Like, you can, <laughs> like, so, did, is your father your, the main male influence in your life? Like, did he make you better as a woman? Um, I would say both ways. Because my dad, my dad was a Rolling Stone. <laughs> my was dad Rolling was Stone. a Rolling Stone. He yeah. was definitely out there in the streets. But, um, I feel like that's a lesson, too. Like, men cheat, you know? Yeah, I mean, like that. I, 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 that's your opinion, I guess. You know, everybody. <laughs> Man, cheat. I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like somebody has. Everybody has cheated in their life. Everybody, everybody has cheated in their life. Men, men, and women. Because really, think about it. Like, what is cheating? Cheating is you doing something that you don't want the person that you're with doing. So, flirting with somebody else, entertaining somebody else that you think that likes you, accepting gifts from somebody else, like just stuff that you know that you shouldn't be doing. That's cheating. What about? Liking pictures and leaving comments. That's she. Mm, Instagram is for that. I'm not gonna lie. We human. We are gonna get upset about it, but we really can't do anything about it. That's what Instagram is for. That's what social media is for. So, so if your man, if your man is, is if your man is on one a specific girl's page, liking all her pics, that's considered cheat. They on her body, and that's something different. That's, so that's not cheating. Um, are they messaging each other, or is he just no? He just liking everything. everything. She ain't really. He just he just a fan at that point. You respect him for that? I mean, if you want to like, I'm pretty sure I'll be on people's pages like if we just like, I like girls different. and guys, right? If I feel like she oh, look you, good, you like both. Yeah, if I feel like she look good, I'm gonna like it up. If I feel like he look good, I'm I will like it up. But I really don't do that with guys on Instagram. I'm not gonna lie. Now it's different with a man. See, it, with you it's different because you liking somebody, you can hit them up. They respond to you, or something could potentially happen. But with a man, you liking a woman pictures, hitting her up, she, she listen, might, might just ghost them. She might listen, just leave them all. We all have eyes. I'm not. I'm not the only attractive person in the world. My my person is not the only attractive person in the world. So they gonna look. Mm. As long as you're not indulging in it and being on their body or disrespecting me for them, then. So what if what if they start in the DM stuff? Then that's different. Then you disrespecting me. That's cheap. Or if you don't tell me about it, like you could be like, babe, I think this girl look good. Like, don't she look good? Show me her, whatever. Like, I, I got a crush on her. If I say, go get her. Some, that's yeah, I mean, that's a little different. Some, yeah. people, some, some men can't. Just keep me in the loop. Don't 
don't hide nothing from me. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's cheating. Doing stuff that you know you don't, you wouldn't want me to do and hiding it from me. Like, it's intentional at that point. All right, now, I see what you're saying. Speaking of cheating and intentional, the, the main question they're going to ask, are you single? Um, I am single. Mm. But. Oh, here's the but. Here's the but. I'm spoken for Oh, you spoke. What does what does that mean in 2024? <laughs> it means I spoke. Uh, what does that mean in 2024? That means I'm not interested. Oh, you're not interested. No, I'm not. So the DMs, the DMs not open. Then. Y'all can come in the DMs. Y'all can say how I'm not mean, but I don't be interested. You know, what if it's an opportunity of a lifetime? Though? Nobody has like. What what if you? Nobody never done? has done that for me. After this, they since I started this. talking to the person that I was talking to, so nobody has nobody has surpassed it that so to speak. If that makes sense. All right, man. It's just one click away. Man. Social media, biggest day in that Instagram, biggest but day. No, in that. you see, that's different. Like I have to actually like go outside with you in mm. order to like get to know you and stuff like that. Instagram is not the way. Like, you do have to be around people. Yeah, like I gotta feel your vibe, your energy in person. Do, do you? So you dated some? Would you say you dated? How, how's the dating experience been for you growing up? Let me say, let me say that. Like since you started dating till now, how's how's it been going? Up, down, good, bad, ugly. It's so crazy. Decent. It's so crazy because I went on. I've been on maybe two dates. I'm and I'm talking about like regular dates. Like you don't know the person. Well, you're getting to know. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Like in my life. Mm. I've two two dates in your life. Two dates in my life. Two. Uh, no, listen. Let me explain. Uh, okay. So, if you're in a relationship with somebody, of course you're going on dates and stuff like that. So mm. I've been I've been on dates like that, but people I don't know probably two in my lifetime. Oh, people you don't. Yeah, okay, people okay, I don't okay, know. Okay. Okay. How did I was that? Traumatized. It was it was a horrible experience. <laughs> uh, you can give a horror story. If you want to give a horror story, um, you can give a story. Whatever you want. He to just do. wasn't it. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Wait, well, dressed. My what? best no. My best friend at the time had dared me to like go on a date with him. What what age was it? This is like I want to say like eighteen, nineteen. That's that's mad young, but I feel that like, is, that is, that <laughs> is that I'm just starting. Right, so it's like I'm just starting out. You traumatized the fuck out of me. Yeah, that's 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 a bad way to start it so, off. So one, all right, he picked me up from Broadway Junction. At the time, I get it. Like we don't have cars. The L train. The L train. We went on the L train. Yeah, yeah, I we know. went to um, I think it was Sweet Chicks. <laughs> I think we went to Sweet Chicks. That was my first time at Sweet Chicks. But mind you, we're on we're on our way to Sweet Chicks, and he's telling me about how his mom is like a crackhead. He's on the first day. Telling me that? <laughs> That's trauma. He's trying to trauma bond with you. That's what that is. He's trying he's to trauma like, bond. I don't mean to laugh, but it was just like shocking. Like we literally on the first day, and the first thing that you want to tell me is that your mom is a crackhead, and like you're struggling with her. Like he don't get along with her, stuff like that. So, all right, what about I chalked it up? I'm like, you know what? Maybe the rest of the day is gonna be okay. He's just trying to get it out mm-hmm. right now. So we sit down to eat, and then he starts telling me about how he used to violate his ex girlfriend, all types He's of stuff. Like talking about impression. his ex girlfriend, basically majority of the date. So my best friend, I'm, you know how us girls mm. do, like we text him like, yo, this date is like crazy. Like I don't even want to talk to this guy no more. Mm. So my best friend calls me. He gets mad that I answered the phone. Why? What's wrong with that? That's what I'm trying to say. Like I don't know. Like. He got tight or whatever, so I, I now I'm ready to go. So he paid for the food. At least he paid. Right, he paid for the food. At least he paid. Shout out to him. Um, we walk out and somebody, I guess he seen somebody like staring at us, or like maybe oh, somebody shit. was trying to talk to me oh, or something God. like that. And he pulls out a knife. On a date, yeah, he pulls outside? out a knife, and he like I'm 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 not letting nobody do nothing to us on this date. I'm like, yo, this guy is crazy. You just came home. I don't know. He pulled out a knife. I don't know. That's he pulled out a knife. That was his response. The person wasn't like the person wasn't there no more. So thank God, like yeah. they didn't have no fight or nothing like that. Because I would, I probably would have never dated again. You would have been an accessory to a crime. You would have been you still in lockup. I did this little lie, like you know, my stomach hurt or whatever. Like I want to go home because he like now he's trying to take me Other back places. to his house, like to chill with him. So I'm like, yeah, nah, my stomach listen. hurt. I want to go home. Whatever he like. You know, I'll take you home. But I'm like, nah, it's okay. Because first of all, nigga, I don't want you to know where the fuck I live. Yeah, yeah. Somebody like that. Somebody like that. Bro, I don't want you to know where I live at. So, he like, you know, I got pills at my house if you want to, like, pills? Take it to make you feel. That's the same thing I said, like. I'm, I'm He's your age? Like, 19? He was, like, 19, 18, 19. Same age as me. After that, I was like, mm. 
what, what? Thank God I made it home. I made it home good. He didn't follow me or nothing. But you ever saw him again after that? No. Like in the future? No, I'm lying. Yes, I did. Cause we went to, we went to like a a, a club, like maybe like a month or so after that, and he was working there. Like a bouncer? No, he's like a bartender. Oh really? So yeah. he's like a gangster bartender. I never seen a that before. Bartender. I n- I never seen that in my life. I, d- I didn't know they make those. To be honest, like he tried to make you a drink. Like no, I didn't take no damn drink yeah, from him. Yeah. I didn't even speak to him when we were in the spot. He was looking at me, but I didn't even speak to him. Mm-mm. You probably like switched the colors up, so he probably didn't know it was you. Who knows? I wasn't. I wasn't as hard body switching the colors up like that. Like I, was, <laughs> yeah, like you, I am now. Nah. You a little more. Nah. Yeah. So do you think any? <laughs> Life is crazy. Yeah, it's not, it just hits you out of nowhere. It just get, it just hits you. So, do you think any of the men you dated in the past benefits you now, right now, or um, in the future, and a benefits like helps you? Yeah, the the first guy I was in love with. Oh um, love, that's a strong. Yeah, I was I, I was young. That's when I, I really felt like I was in love. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I don't know. We still talk to this day. Mm-hmm. Um, he always motivated me. He always let me know, like, you're beautiful. Like, you can do anything that you want to do. He's in military, too. Okay. Um, so I was with him at, a, at like, a young age. I was, like, still in high school. Should be disciplined. Um, yeah. You were in high school? Where was he? He was in high school, too. Oh, he was okay. about to graduate. Oh, uh, like a senior and you were a freshman type shit? No, 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 Like, I was a sophomore. And you was a senior? Yeah. Oh, so we didn't go to the same school like, like that, but I met him at church. <laughs> I met him at church. <laughs> I met him at church. <laughs> <laughs> at church. You... I do a seven day Adventist. So, so he just came up to you? No, you know we grew up in church. We all yeah, yeah, started I, I, all the I time. Too, yeah. So we started dating, and he just always like motivated me, even to this day. They say that is a good place for women to meet men, though. But more like yeah, but they be, they be fresh too. Even in the I church, feel like the church people would be fresh. Well, they feel like they more more holy, more higher level. Nah, they, it's because especially like growing up in the church, you feel restricted. Like you yeah, feel true. like you can't really do too much. So then when you break away, it's like. You outside. Mm-hmm. So that's why I said I feel like the church people is the ones that be outside. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. True. And then, so you say, all right. That, that, he, I mean, the way he sounds on paper, he went to church, military. He say, it sounds like he has yeah. some structure, some discipline in his way. Like, what what happened to him? Where, where he vanished to? Um, I wanted to deal with females. Like, I thought oh, he was coming out saying that I, you know, wanted to deal with females. I was trying to, like, strictly. Not. Strictly. Yeah, because my mom was Seventh Day Adventist, so you know that's kind of like look, look down. Yeah. Her. So I finally just got tired of hiding that, and I came out to like everybody, and I didn't want to hurt him because he didn't want to be, he didn't want to share me. So yeah, I wouldn't want to share my girl either. Yeah, I, I, get it. Like, no, I get it. I get it. I get Shout it. out to you. Where yeah, you at? he's a, he's a good man. He's cool. I'm still cool with him to this day, like I said. But I didn't want to hurt him, mm-hmm. so we just parted ways, and I started dealing with girls like. Full body, like no guys, only girls. That, that, that so that's probably like just a new, new experience, like a new. It was it a fad? Cause now you. No, nah, I was I was talking to him. I was dealing with him for like three years, three four years. That's so heavy. it was it, we was yeah, like in, talking about being engaged and everything. But if so, which one do you like more, men or men or women? Um, I used to say women, but I felt like. I'm most I'm emotionally tied more with women than men, so I would I would preferably like of course you're a woman, but right, I would preferably <laughs> deal with a woman than over a man. But now at like grown age, I just feel like it's about who treats me the best. That's just really what it is. Who like, treats you the best? It doesn't matter. Don't you want kids? You know? Yeah, you can still have kids dealing with a woman. Oh, you can adopt. You can. Oh, no, we ain't trying to do that. Yeah, inseminate it, all that. Man. <laughs> it's What's... ways. If that's really what you want to do, you'll yeah. find a way to do it. Uh, let me let, let me let me see. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what's, the, what's the what's the main things you value in a relationship? This is how I can like narrow it. In a relationship, what's the main things you value? Um, definitely respect. Like we have to respect each other. Okay. Honesty. Mm-hmm. We have to be a hundred percent communication across the board. Like you can't hide nothing from me. We got to be able to speak to each other and tell each other things that are uncomfortable. But mm-hmm. we don't have to agree. But we have to understand each other. Um, definitely have to have a business mindset because. Mm-hmm. I'm a hustler. I like a hustler. Um, what else? I said respect, right? Mm-hmm. That was the first thing, man. That's that's very, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good number one respect. too. Respect. Um, that's what I thought. I have to 
be able to grow with you. Like, I can't be stagnant. I can't feel like... Like, gotta be like this. Yeah, can't like, be like just one person. I, we have to build each other up, right? Yeah. Like, I have to be able to learn new things from you because I like to be stimulated mentally. That's important. Yeah, so I, I say those are the most important things. Those are, like, the top two. Yeah. So if I were to ask your exes about you, what would they say about you? I'm super giving. Giving in what way? Like money? Like, like what are you talking about? Anything, like, what are you, anything you need. If, if I have it and you need it, I'll give it. Even if it's my last. That's mm -hmm. what they would say. Really? Mm -hmm. men, the men and the women. That's mm -hmm. what okay. And I'm very supportive. Like, I don't give a fuck what you want to do. If you want to sell shit on the side of the road, <laughs> I'm going to be outside selling shit with you. you. Be the ride or or I'm promoting you selling shit on the, road, on the side of the road. Yeah. You ride or die. Mm hmm So what if what if your your man work at work uh let's say what's the min the minimum? Let's say he work a fifty K a year job and he's working working hard. Like, you know, he's really trying to work, build a family with you, mm -hmm. be there for you. Fifty K though. This is New York. Alright, keep that in mind. So what you you gonna be you gonna stay low for him? You gonna stay down for him? Fifty K yeah, money don't move me. Alright, but eventually you know, you get older. It's fifty k. It's just right here. Inflation. You gonna you're not gonna be like yo. Our money's together. Really? Yeah. So if you're you're the breadwinner, you taking care of everything. Then so be it. What if you really? want to start a business on the side? No, 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 no. He just want to work for the rest yeah, of his life. Fifty k for the rest of his life. That's what he want to do. He want to get fifty k for the rest of his life and be with you. That's all he want. He just wants fifty k and you. That's it. That, that's, that's what he want to do. That's what he want to do. But. <laughs> I am the no, 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 no. but I am the type of person that I will sit with you and see, like, pick your brain to see, like, are you sure this is all you want to do? Like, yep. you're you're great at this. Are you sure you don't want to turn this into a business? No. Like, that's that's no. me. If he don't want to do that, then he don't want to do that. That so that's not leave? dictating the way that he's treating me or he's loving me. You gonna leave? No. That's gold digging shit. Leaving because uh, of money. Not even gold digging. That's just like no growth. <laughs> How? 50k like you 30 40 50 make it 50k he's working hard every day and then kids on top of that what girls? if he feel like he can't do more you said what if he feels like he can't yeah no anybody could do more than 50, 50k i you know i mean there's, there's jobs out there that pay way more than that regular job do you know some jobs is asking for degrees and stuff like that now they don't even require yeah you yeah, know that's true that's what i'm saying so like what if he just got out of jail or something it's everybody has a second i'm talking about this this circumstance for like a gen like ten years. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about like just for like one. Y'all talking about this is him. He's set, I'm like, trying to push my man to do something bigger and better. He he he. If he's my man, mm -hmm. he has talents, and he gonna use them talents. If I gotta pull it out of him, he gonna use them talents. Okay, you sound very. I ain't gonna have my man. We gonna see. Like we gonna see. We gonna, sounds real good on paper. Sounds real good on Listen, paper. The real ones is out here. Y'all just gotta find them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's other women out here like me. And yeah, and they left their man. But next question. <laughs> when, 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 no, was, when was the first time you got your heart broken? First time. Not like kindergarten. Like, yeah. like yeah. <laughs> first time. And it really hit you like, damn, that really happened? Like, like you walked in and you saw your man like humping the bed and then it was a girl really under him. It's not the bed. And he's like, oh, no. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen somebody like. Like I've never walked in on somebody cheating on me. Like I've always like, That's like a movie. caught. Yeah, I've never I've never witnessed that. I've always like caught maybe on the phone mm -hmm. or like a text message or something like That's that, right. but never physically like in person. Thank God. Yeah, cause you know you don't know how you gonna react. Yeah, thank God. But um, the first time I got my heart broken, very fair. and it hit you, stung like damn. Um. I was dating this girl. Uh oh. It was my first. Oh, time. women. Oh, it was a woman. All right. It was even a man. So we good. We good on this one. We good on this one. Yeah, continue. It was a woman. Yeah. I was dating her, and I feel like this was me. Like, I broke my own heart. So I don't want to put it out there that she broke my heart. But I felt like she just kept, like, she kept dealing with other girls outside of me type mm -hmm. shit. So, and I just. Like, she would deal with the girls, take me back, deal with the girls, I would take her back, stuff like that. We were very toxic. So, I felt like I kept going back to it, kept going back to it. I guess because it was, like, the first girl that I ever really, really did yeah. with. You know so, what changed. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm finally with my girl. Like, so, I guess I broke my own heart. No, no, no. She broke your heart. And, and no, <laughs> but I, at, at a point, I feel like you're choosing now. Like, you're choosing to go back to it. Yeah, so yeah, she broke my heart and I broke my heart. Like you could have left and did better, but you chose yeah, to stay. I chose to stay, yeah. What what age what age was that? Um that was like twenty one. 
Oh, okay, so you were grown. I wasn't yeah, even like was so. 21. And like, how, how did you react? You were crying. Like what? You, you yeah, I'm not dating women again. I'm not dating women again. And I think it was just me forcing myself to like leave her alone. So that was like that. Mm-hmm. Like you, you have no choice but to like get up out of there. Mm. Yeah. All right. And when was the first time? That's the heartbreak. Yeah. When was the first time you said, "I love you" to somebody you're dating, man or woman? Because you dating everybody. So I was like, yeah. It was the first time you said, "I love you." The big words. First time. And was it a man or a woman? It was a guy. When, like, when was the guy it? that I was dealing with that I left girls for? I mean, what? that I what? was it something he did that made you leave go to women? It was some... for girls. Um, no, I think it was just me. I was choosing myself. Mm-hmm. It'd be like that. That was, that was the first time. You, that was the first time. Like, I what what age? Wait. That was like eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, you, you, so you, you were getting into it real young, man. That was the same guy that I met at church. Uh, that was the first person I said I love you to. And you thought you thought that was it? Yeah, you had I just church, knew. I just knew discipline. You getting married. I don't know. Life change is the only thing that's constant. So. Okay. So, do you? I'm glad you said. Do you believe in marriage? Yeah. You believe in marriage? Okay. And do you believe in divorce? Yeah, but I feel like you should only divorce if like you've tried all avenues and nothing is working. And it's just like y'all really can't be together. You can't, like you can't work it out anymore. Then mm-hmm. you divorce. All right. And what what are some things you think you would have to fix? You would have to enhance in yourself to be like a dutiful, like the ultimate wife, like to be like a quality wife. What are um, some things you think you would have to fix in yourself? That's some reflection. Sometimes I could be too emotional, like, and sometimes my emotions make me impulsive, so I won't think. Like impulsive, and then what do you do when you when you act on impulsive? Um, what you be doing? I'll say certain things. Oh, <laughs> not like I mean, I'm a Gemini, so I get I get I get a little. Yeah, don't blame the signs. Don't blame the signs. <laughs> I'm a little feisty. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I could work on my anger. Sometimes mm-hmm. when I get upset, you know, that's I a Puerto Rican side. Right? Puerto Rican side. Yeah, I just shut down. Mm-hmm. So, um, and communication. I could work on communicating more. Like communicating, like your feelings, or yeah, like your intention. Uh, like so sometimes, mind. sometimes you'll have something on your mind. You don't say nothing. Just keep it in, and you expect sometimes. him to figure it out. Um, be a mind sometimes, reaction. but other times I just I won't say anything. I uh, will wait. Mm-hmm. I wait because I I'll like sit on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, working communication. So like, what's your? I want you to be as, as superficial as possible. When we do this because you 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 you're colorful. You animated. I see the nails, the hair, and everything. Camo. You're very animated, so from head to toe, like build a beard. What's what's the your ideal man and woman? Because you you all over, like I said, you do both. So yeah, build a beard. Like what's your ideal height? Beard, everything. Like, um, what's your ideal man? Ideal woman. One by one. Okay, so let's do guy first. Um, mm. I like tattoos. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely tattoos. Um. I don't discriminate against like skin complexion, so it really don't matter to me about that. Um, they could be as light as you. Yeah, they could be as light as me. Mhm. Um, nice teeth. Yeah, that's important. Nice teeth. What, what if veneers? Or you don't care. Um, you don't have to have veneers, but if you have like, you know, your teeth is not done, make sure like they they just nice. Yeah. They okay. just nice. They straight. It's a lot of glowing dark teeth going on out there. Um, <laughs> I know you see that you in the club. He gotta have some type of swag. Like he gotta know how to dress. Swag and what? Like what? 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 What style? Like I'm, I'm Mrs. Put that shit on. So he gotta be. No, you, you got close. You definitely, you definitely gotta at have least close. He gotta be at least close. We gotta be able to pop out and be a dynamic duo. Like when we step out with our outfits. Mm-hmm. Um, what if, what if everything about him is good, high level, but he can't dress? Like? I'm stylist. So no, 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 no. But you, but you gotta, you gotta remember though. Some people could wear the clothes, but don't wear the clothes. If you understand what I'm saying, they can have the outfit, but it's like the way they carry themselves. Like you just don't have it. You said build. You said build them. Yeah, yeah. So you got to teach them. Yeah, we're gonna have to wear uh, it. Because some people they they be wearing it, but they ain't wearing it. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the people make the clothes, not the clothes. Uh, the that's true. But mm-hmm. he gotta be swaggy. He gotta he gotta know what he doing. Mm-hmm. He gotta be um. That's like confidence, there, basically. I like, I like assertive men, mm-hmm. but not too aggressive. Like, 
like you said, confidence. Like when when he walk in the room, mm -hmm. I need to feel his energy. Mm -hmm. Like he that like he that nigga. Mm -hmm. Like I I gotta want to talk to him, right? I like feel that. It. Yeah, I gotta feel it. My, um, what else? Woman. Okay, so that's that's the man. So that's now the man. woman, because this is this is gonna be. I don't know if it's Bush Dykes, like what we look, like what we talking about, like, like I've what? dated, the woman. I've dated femmes, like girls like me. I've dated from McGrath. I've dated um, Trent, Trent? Studs, never changed. Oh, okay, not that I have anything against them. Cause that's that's men and women put together. That's no. like all for one. Or, no. Oh no. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> women, like I said, tattoos. I love tattoos. Um, uh -huh. I like teeth for anything. So teeth is around across the board with women uh -huh. too. Um, her hair gotta be nice. Like, what you mean it, it's like, like if it's natural it gotta a, be 4c 2b it don't this. matter as long as it's acceptable like as, as long as you're not coming outside looking like who did it and and ran? yeah or walk away from um i like a fat ass <laughs> i like a fat ass. i like a fat ass I okay like i respect ass. that i like titties sometimes okay um and the same thing like she got to be confident and she can't be she can't be on no funny no funny shit wait, wait, some girls some girls get mad at other girls because they look good. Yeah. So she can't be on no funny That's shit. That's like hate. That's like hating. She can't shit. be on no hate or funny shit. That's like some hating shit. So, I mean, it sounds like we got the same taste in women. Though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you sound too far off, to be honest with you. So, all right, that's like the outside exterior. What about character wise? Same thing. Like, she got to have something going for herself. She got to be a hustler just like me. We got to be able to grow together. Got to be able to teach me you know new things it's the same thing men and women that's how i feel about them mm -hmm. right? all right and then like, let's say an ideal salary how much would you want want them to make ideal salary mm -hmm. don't be shy oh, I won't. don't be shy i won't ideal salary um, we live in new york just you remember. can make a little bit less than me that's fine like i said as long as you have hustle and you trying to find a way to get get your bag larger i'm fine with that money really doesn't move me um you can make as much as me, a little bit more. It, it just, I don't know. It really uh, I, I, I got to hear a number. I, we we in New York. Ain't no games out here. Milk costs like $40 now. Man. Yeah, milk. but it's like, I really don't. Silk. That's silk milk. I That's can't really milk. give you a number. I, I just, yeah, I, I have to be in, I have to be in the situation to assess, like, if I want to deal with them or not. You, you want everything I want to see? You in the situation now. What, I'm what, telling you. What, what, what's, what's the number? I don't have a number. Money don't move me. They don't? No, money doesn't move me. I care about how people treat me. You so if me. they treat you good but they broke, you you, you, won't leave, you, you won't like if that. If they either. treat you good and they broke, they if they treat you good, they find a way to take you out on dates and do stuff with you, even if they broke. Now, they're taking you on picnics. That's what they're taking you. I like picnics. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's cold sometimes. You can't go on a picnic all the time. I like picnics. Be spontaneous. All right. So I see, I see you, you playing around with that. And then, okay, so. Anybody who know me know I'm like no cap right now. That has money don't move me. I got my own money. And if, if I really fuck you with you. Together. Right. And if I really fuck with you, you don't have it, I'll get it for you. Mm -hmm. And th these these type of men that you're talking about, like that look good, got their money together. And New York, what what's, what percentage of men do you think even exist like that? If they wanna if I wanna say like got got their whole shit together. Mm -hmm. That's basically what I'm saying. And I'm assuming you want him to be like like us, like black. The, I mean, I don't I don't care. It don't okay. matter to me. But um it's a, I'm not gonna say that it's all men. It's 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 a lot more men that don't got their shit together. Mm -hmm. than Especially in our culture community. Yeah, because it's like even the generation period, this generation is like filled with a bunch of people that want other people to do stuff for them. Yeah, and the, the entitled generation. Yeah, really. So I can't. It's it's a lot more not getting it together than getting it together. Really? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And well, well, let me ask you a random question. When you walking down the street, because you outside, I, I, I can tell you got your, your your knees out and shit. You're tired. <laughs> you be outside. You you can't tell me you don't. So when you when you outside walking around, right? Mm -hmm. And there's men, probably men looking at you, trying to flirt with you, or just men walking down the street. What percentage of men do you find attractive? To the point where you look at them and you be like, "Oh, damn, he look good." I would, I would, I would. I would like, what percentage of men do you find attractive? I be outside. Instagram, so I see a lot anything. of different men, a lot of different women all the time. So it's, I've seen 
No, I'm men. Not gonna lie, no, within, within the past two years, I've seen a lot of attractive men. You like, I want a percentage. So I got to narrow it down and understand how, how Miss Milk. Mil- All right, let's, that's talking <laughs> a two year span right now. That's what we're going to mm-hmm, talk about. Okay. This is the most I've been outside in New York. Uh huh. Because I used to live in Florida. So in New York, okay. um, I would say a good. I would say 60%. Number 60? That's a lot. That's, yeah, a lot. that's a lot. I'm around models and stuff like that. I do a lot of networking events. So I see a lot of people. It's a lot of good looking people in, in, in this world. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a lot of good well, It's kind of rare to be good looking. I don't know. From, from where, I, where I've been sitting in the past two years, it's, they coming. I see them uh, outside. Yeah. They coming to the specific places. That's why. It's so it, it, it does make a little too. bit. They yeah, it's definitely about to be. It's definitely about to get warm outside. And all right, what about women? Same. What percentage of women do you think? Same. Women? Maybe a little bit more. I want to say like seventy-five. Because women Instagram too. They put more to their looks. Women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, that, that's pretty interesting. Though. I mean, you 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 being you being political, but no, I feel you. I can understand where you come yeah. from. Do you? Okay. How, how old are you now? 28? Mm-hmm. And what, what age mm-hmm. what what age do you want to be married, settle down, kids, stop being outside? Like what age? Um I'm never gonna stop being outside. I'm I mean crazy. I mean outside like in you know what I mean. Like in the clubs and stuff? Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Um I'd be tired of partying now, but I feel you. This like certain places I go to I make money, like hosting. That's different, yeah, that's like, good. It's to the point sometimes now, like, I don't even go to the club unless I'm getting paid. Because it's like, that's how tiring it is. You know, you go to mad parties, you meet mad people. Sometimes you just don't want to talk. Yeah. But, um, married and not outside anymore. Yeah, like, settled. You got your kids, your man. He coming home, 50K. I want to say, like, 35. I want to give me, like, 35. I used to yeah, say 30, okay. but I'll say 35 because I feel like I'm just starting up. Like, 35, okay. That's right around the corner. Before you, before you know it, seven years. Yeah. Before you know it. 35. All right. And so do you have 28 years of living? Do you have any regrets in life? Anything you regret? Um, yeah, I should have did this, should have did that. No, that's never did that. Um, I feel like 28 years of living, I let a lot of people play with me. Oh. In what way? Um, I let stuff slide that I shouldn't. Very far. And I, I was too humble at times. I, I didn't pop my shit when I should have popped my shit. That's the only regrets that I have. Yeah. So, that, that so I'm lot. making up for it now. That happened a lot, then. Yeah, when I was younger, but coming into yourself, like, of course you're gonna let certain Things stuff slide based on how you feel about Things certain people you close. You know, you feel like they didn't. You don't want. You don't. You be in denial sometimes. Like you don't want to see. Like, oh, like, they really playing with me. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> yeah, I know a lot about that. I'm. I'm getting. I'm getting it back now. I'm getting the power back. So, um, and I'm coming. I'm coming for everything. And you know you do so much. Everything NYC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. That's a, I'm, I'm glad you said that's a little. <laughs> I'll clip that right there. So, and you said you'd be in the clubs making money mm-hmm. all over. You got your hands pretty much everything content creator wise. Dibble and dabble. I see you got your podcast. You interviewing people. Yeah, yeah, yeah you all. That's the, that's that's good to dibble and dabble like that. Check out Mermaid Talk, y'all. Mermaid Talk, right there. And so let's say in five years, where would you want to be, like career wise, money making wise? Um, since you do so much, five years, I want my one stop shop. I'm trying to get that before five years, but in five years, I should have my one stop shop, which is like hair, nails, clothes, literally like beauty supplies, everything just in one spot, like mm-hmm. basically like the get ready spot to go out. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of want to be like on Funny Marco type of Wendy type Williams level. status. Like Wendy Williams, that's podcast. big. Yeah, that's like, big. like them two mixed together. Like that's my dream for my podcast. Like I'm going to get the tea, but we're going to have fun. <laughs> we're we going we gonna to laugh. We're going to have fun. Mm-hmm. So I kind of like that for five years. Five, Maybe okay. a little bit less. Yeah, Wendy Williams, that, that's a open spot right there, to yeah. be honest. If you, so if you had a, if you had a, let's say you had a, I have a daughter. Mm, I want she, a daughter. She look, she look exactly like you. Everything. Orange hair. Come on, orange hair. That's crazy, right? Uh, it look exactly like you. Same persona. Same character and stuff. Everything. Would you consider her a good woman? If she had the same character as Everything me? like you. Yeah. You, you consider Absolutely. her a good woman? Why would you, why you say Absolutely. that? Absolutely. 
I know I'm a good woman. Like, what, what, what makes you what makes you say just, that? Just my just my character, the way I care about people, mm-hmm. the way I respect people, the way I I put myself in other people's shoes before I react or before I, I do certain things. So I would say I'm a good woman. And I'm ambitious. And you ambitious. No, you I give you that. I'm ambitious. I think because you I, I see you on the ground. You you doing everything, literally. So I'm surprised you're not in the WNBA or something. <laughs> like you you do literally you, you dibbling dabbling. I give you that. So yeah. I would say she's definitely a good woman. Well, a, a woman that's growing, but definitely a good woman. Mm-hmm. So you said, okay, now nah, you, you seem like you got a good head on your shoulders and stuff like that. So let me ask you a random question. If you won the lottery today, what would you do? Oh, uh, give my mother some money, buy her a house. Realistically, I want to give my you. mother some money, buy uh-huh. her a house. Um, definitely invest in my one stop shop. Mm-hmm. And. The lottery, like thirty mm-hmm. what was it, six hundred sixty mil probably. I say that. I ain't gonna fake and say that I'm not gonna get my boots done. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely gonna get my boots done. Mm. Definitely get my boots done. That's something I always talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, put money for my godson, definitely, mm-hmm. for my niece. Mm-hmm. That's it. Oh. A lot of people could say this and that, but I don't know. That's what I would do so far. Mm-hmm. All right, I mean, it just sounds sound pretty noble of you. Sound pretty noble of you. No, I mean, uh, yeah, we all do that. We don't play around with that with yeah. family and stuff like that. And uh, you have any anything you want to anybody you want to shout out? Anything you want to tell people to tune into? Anything like that? that- Definitely turn, tune in to Everything NYC mm-hmm. Podcast. Mm-hmm. Thank you for having me. Oh, yes, no um, Don't forget, check out Mermaid Talk 2. You can go on my Milk underscore the Mermaid page on Instagram. My link tree is on there. And I just want to say thank you for having me. Right. This was fun. Um, yes, no I didn't problem. know what to expect, but... This was smooth. Yeah. This was definitely smooth. Like, you... you Cause you just did this. This what you do. This what you do. I still, so, like, I still be nervous. You you ain't look nervous. <laughs> you can't you got your thigh out. Like, how you nervous with your thigh out? Like, you ain't nervous. The kneecap is out. Too. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it is. It is. Every everything is out. <laughs> but so this is car conversations confessions part two. As you can see, we're gonna keep this coming, to y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you want to hear. Leave a comment in the bottom. Share the video. Make sure y'all share. Yes, please share and thank you for watching.